Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking All Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, and let me know what you think. I don't understand why the Love and Mary Chancefield cast, including Carlos, is going so hard to get Melody, uh, uh, to attack Melody, and to try to get Melody removed from love and marriage has failed after all she's all of their bread and butter right about now and instead of trying to attack her you would think that they would take some time out of their day and in between their uh, personal attacks to thank her but instead it seems like each time each season they getting more and more gutter to the point where if they don't stop, I can see all of them, including Carlos, own all of these people in legal actions, Melody taking legal actions against them. It's like enough is enough. And for Destiny to insinuate that she could have had Melody if she wanted to, to me, that speaks more on Destiny's character and what she's into versus M Melody. Because I've never gathered or never thought about Melody um, going that way or possibly going that way. The thought never crossed my mind. But with Destiny alluding to her being able possibly to have her, it speaks more about destiny and what she's into but for destiny to even say something like that if somebody anytime somebody is saying anything about destiny in any type of way destiny wants to remind everybody that she's a mother she's a single mother and she can't speak on this or speak on that because of her son. But Destiny don't give a rat's behind about Melody being a single mother. That Melody being a woman, a mother, a business owner, an entrepreneur. She, Destiny doesn't care one bit about Melody's character at all. So it's okay for Destiny to get on her soapbox and spread lies all over social media. Not one time, but several times. And say all these horrible, nasty things about Melody. But don't spill, don't tell the whole truth. Don't, and, for, and as soon as somebody comes for her or attempts to come for her. Either she want to call production and have it, have them shut down or she wants to start uh, crying, talking about her son. Melody has four kids, daughters and a son. So for Destiny to be talking that reckless against Melody and her sexuality, I feel as though it's foul. And for um for whomever was running the uh was uh the uh cast, whoever was running that uh sit down with Destiny in that confessional, I feel as though they are at fault as well. Because once Destiny put that out there, they should have made her clear it up. Just in the, just like in the situation where destiny was talking to dustin and she alluded to melody and liberic possibly being too close or being involved and dustin was like oh you mean melody is visiting him at home and she said no they was at the restaurant 
See, I feel as though whomever was running that confessional, asking Destiny questions, they had a responsibility to have her clear it up. Because those are some strong allegations. And for them not to um, have Destiny clear it up right then and there, I feel as though they're equal responsible. They didn't care. They, they, it's like, this is all a game to them, except for it's supposed to be reality. When are, when does throwing out lies against somebody, reality? What part of reality is the, uh, what part of reality does lies play into? I didn't think that there was a segment on reality TV for the lies. And I wonder, did Carlos bring this mess to Destiny for her to say, because we all know that Destiny was brought on not only to go after her married ex, but to also help Martel fight his his battles with Melody because he is, he's been banned from being around Melody. So they got Destiny to be his backbone this season to take up where Martel left off. So I wonder did Carlos bring this mess to Destiny because we all know, I don't care if it hasn't been fully exposed, we know somehow, some way, Carlos was involved in that whole Real Housewives of Atlanta scandal that got Phaedra kicked off because they was trying to insinuate that Candy wanted to do something to Portia. Mighty funny, the only person that got fired was Carlos, allegedly, and Phaedra. Those are the only two that was booted off. So I wonder did Carlos bring that plot to Destiny or bring that mess to Destiny so to make people so they can ha keep the storyline going, keep the attacks going on Melody because Carlos finds everything funny. He finds everything funny and he knows that the, he wants the reunion to be explosive so he, people can be looking for Destiny to clear that up. And Destiny can say, I hold the truth. I can say this. She's always talking, but not providing any type of receipts. But then again, I have to... This is like the second time Destiny has spoke... <coughs> I'm sorry. This is like the second time Destiny has spoke on Melody in a sexual manner. First time was when she was saying that Miss Van needs to stop pimping her daughter. And now she's alluding to she could have had Melody and Martell if she wanted to. Well, I don't think she couldn't have had Martell. She's probably, I mean, in my mind, I believe she's already had Martell and still having Martell. But for her to say that about Melody, I think she's flown over the cuckoo's nest. Because what straight woman will allude to having another straight woman? Because if a man was to, if the roles were reversed and a man says, I could have had her and her husband. Everybody would be looking at that man sideways, moving their they glasses, everything, moving away from, like, what, what's, what? So, no, that's, to me, Destiny saying some foul mess like that, talking and referencing Melody in a sexual manner, like I say, that speaks more towards what Destiny is involved in. Her character versus Melody. 
Melody has never alluded to Destiny in, or any of these ladies in that type of fashion. And maybe that's why Destiny is so mad at Melody because when Melody was out here doing things for Destiny, um, having her back in different situations um, financially, Destiny probably, it, it probably turned her on to the point where she's like now mad because she can't be around Melody like that. I don't know, but it's kind of weird to me for her to speak on her in that manner, especially when Destiny has so many other things that she can be focused on instead of Melody. She owes LaBert $20,000 in a matter of days, and she's out here trying to act bad and act tough and uh, throw big D energy around spreading lies for putting, basically putting on, putting on an act for these Love and Mary Chunsfield people. And I wonder which one of these people or are they collectively helping her with this $20,000 debt that's due in a matter of, of days or which one of them has stepped up and volunteered to just take care of the whole thing for her. Because had she been still friends with Melody, her, her debt probably wouldn't even exist because she wouldn't even had to do the fraudulent things or whatever she's accused of doing. She wouldn't even had to get to that point because Melody would have made sure that she was okay from the get go where she didn't have to go down that road. And that's why she's mad because out of all these friends that she pretend to have, don't none of them really have her back. They can't even have their own back. And she knows she messed up a good thing, a good friendship with Melody to the point where she wouldn't, she wouldn't have been in the situation that she's in now. But she, Carlos, I feel as though it was their duty to make her explain her confessional. Don't just say something and, and leave a cliffhanger. Something that is detrimental to somebody's character. I feel as though they should have made her explain it right then and there, clear that up. And it tells you that Destiny don't care about Melody or her kids because she still haven't came out to refute what she said, to debunk what she said, or to just clear up the rumors and say that's not what she meant and it lets you know that she aims to hate to she aims to attack melody and to hurt her in every way destiny better sit down somewhere and try stop trying to act like she's something she's not trying to put on for this cast i don't know what carlos promised her but whatever it is it's not nearly enough for her to sacrifice um, everything, including um, her freedom, trying to be on trying to be on good terms with this cast. Now I see why all of the cast, Stormy and Kimmy and and uh, Tisha is going so hard for Destiny because she has the the biggest assignment this season to try to hurt Melody and they are her support team to make sure she get it done they are all in for rude awakening and I hope that Carlos don't let uh, don't let them all take the fall for his mess but then again, they all grown and they should know exactly what they're getting into. And if Destiny, she feels as though she can withstand getting in more legal trouble, then I, I mean, then by all means, because, I, but I feel as though that it was 
whomever running that confessional, I believe it was it it was part of their duty to have Destiny clear clear up um, her statement. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.